my friends it's Wendy Adamson and it's Monday July 27th and I'm here with the 1245 devotion the scripture today is from the third chapter of James beginning with verse 13 do you want to be counted wise to build a reputation for wisdom here's what you do live well live wisely live humbly it's the way you live not the way you talk that counts Mean-spirited ambition isn't wisdom. Boasting that you are wise isn't wisdom. Twisting the truth to make yourselves sound wise isn't wisdom. It's the furthest thing from wisdom. It's animal cunning, devilish conniving. Whenever you're trying to look better than others or get the better of others, things fall apart and everyone ends up at the other's throats. Real wisdom, God's wisdom, begins with a holy life and is characterized by getting along with others. It is gentle and reasonable, overflowing with mercy and blessings, not hot one day and cold the next, not two-faced. You can develop a healthy, robust community that lives right with God and, it, and enjoy its results only if you do the hard work of getting along with each other, treating each other with dignity and honor. So James wrote that for the 12 tribes around 2,000 years ago. And boy, doesn't it sound familiar. Um, don't boast. Don't twist your words. Um, a wise life is living humbly and caring for others, treating each other with dignity and respect. And if James wrote that almost 2,000 years ago, obviously there were issues going on at that time and it's still going on today almost 2,000 years later I don't know about you but when I first read that it was a little depressing I mean really it's the same thing over and over again um, it sounds like Ecclesiastes in Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9 and there is no new thing under the Sun so part of me thinks, what's the use? It just keeps happening over and over again. Last week in Erica's devo Pastor Erica's devotion, she referenced hitting a wall. Well, I think I hit that same wall too. Social media, um, there was so much out there last week and I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going there. I have to take a step back. But the anger and the the unwillingness to listen to others and be respectful of others' opinions. It just, it overwhelms me. So with today's scripture, where's our hope? Um, where's, where's the word that brings us some light? And as I was pondering this and actually getting a little more depressed, suddenly in my mind came the refrain from a song I've got on a CD somewhere I don't even know who the artist is, but I kept hearing, Behold, I make all things new. So I pulled out my phone, opened up Bible Gateway, and did a search. And that scripture has a reference to Jeremiah and also to the 21st chapter of Revelation, verse 5. And it says, And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Trustworthy and true. I guess I need to trust. Also, um, there's an ancient Jewish saying from the Talmud. Every blade of grass has its own angel bending over it, whispering, grow, grow. Don't know if you're a gardener like I am, but I find that incredibly beautiful. Grow, grow, angel. And there are angels bending over us too, telling us to grow. So I guess what I take from this is I need to listen to those words and take them to heart. For many of you who know me, um, know me well, you've probably heard me say, whether it at be at Pray and Ponder or in Confirmation or other small groups, I'm constantly saying that I believe God is 
about the work of bringing good in all situations, no matter how bad, no matter how desolate, no matter how broken we are, God is working to bring about good. I guess I need to take those words to heart. I need to listen to my words and I need to believe them. So I am going to, I'm going to work on that today. I'm going to work on that this week and try not to get so overwhelmed when the crap that's floating around comes comes and hits me in the face. I need to remember that God is at work. He is here among us, making all things new. Please join me in prayer. Jesus, you have a full view from where you stand and we are quite limited here. Our eyes are biased, our hearts attracted to every emotion possible, and we feel each one deep to the core of who we are, and you feel it too, but you feel in a fuller way. You feel the pulse of the earth, you feel the pulse of us, you feel the pulse of your whole own holy heart, and the spirit whisper to remain close and be still and give us everything we need to get through everything we endure. You then are everything to us, fully, always, everything. Amen. Have a good week, friends.